Right now, some new concerns in Iraq, where mass food poisoning has broken out in a camp for displaced people near the northern city of Mosul. At least, at least two people are dead, hundreds more sickened. Connor Powell is following that story live from our Mideast Bureau in Jerusalem. Connor. Yeah, John, in addition to the two people that were killed, at least uh, roughly 800 or so people are sick and showing signs of food poisoning. Hundreds have been taken to a local hospital. Some of them are in critical condition. This is a very serious outbreak that appears to have happened after an iftar meal in a refugee camp 10 miles uh, outside of Mosul. Most of the people affected are, in fact, refugees who have been fleeing ISIS and the fighting between the U.S.-backed Iraq forces and ISIS uh, trying to retake uh, Mosul. Uh, the U.N. has launched an investigation, but already it's become an international fight. The meal of rice, meat, and yogurt was actually provided by a charity based in Qatar. Uh, Saudi State TV accused the charity of providing tainted food. Of course, Qatar and Saudi Arabia are in a big diplomatic fight. Uh, Saudi officials with several other countries have cut ties with Qatar, charging the small, oil-rich country of supporting terrorism. It isn't clear when the food was actually tainted, whether it was when it was first created or when it was cooked or in uh, the process of being delivered. This is what the U.N. is trying to find out. Um, but obviously, with hundreds of people sick and some of them very serious, uh, there is a real concern about whether or not uh, the food was prepared on site, that that's where the tainted uh, food came from, or whether it was tainted in preparation uh, you know, several days before. But this is obviously spiraling out into a larger fight between Saudi Arabia and Qatar. It's are getting a, becoming a very nasty fight between the two countries. What is already a big diplomatic issue uh, now affecting local refugees in Iraq. They obviously don't care about this fight, John. The issue for them is having access to clean and healthy food. Uh, that is something that's growing increasingly difficult with the fighting in uh, Mosul and with uh, tainted food appearing on the scene there as well. The, really, the bigger issue for the U.N. is how do they make sure that this doesn't happen again, John? Obviously. Well, Connor Powell, thank you.